Bradley. Yeah. I have one question for you. Is there chicken in the Caesar? <laughs> it's too hard to shoot against this light. Oh, I bet. Is there chicken in the Caesar? <laughs> All right, anyways, day off today. Gonna do some deadlifts. Finally stoked to be vlogging like regularly again. Let's do loco pre-workout. Candy bomb flavor. I think there's like something like 200 milligrams of caffeine per scoop. Obviously intensity gains. But it's pretty damn delicious, that's why I keep drinking it. And I've got a ton more. And no rush. Loco. No rush. Some more stuff back there. Stupid carb supplements. Liquid IV, shout out to you. See, right here, look. Any white shirt's gonna do that. Because... It's quite a bit of Well, of course, yeah, yeah, that's what I'm wondering, like... I'll see you guys in the car. What's up, YouTube? It's a little taste of emo, Ethan. Yeah, if you didn't know, I grew up on hardcore music, grew up on emo music, alternative indie, whatever you want to call it. So that's what my roots are based in. That's where I get all this dubstep out of. That's what I like listen to. This is a, just a song that my buddy Mike Arthur showed me in college, and it happens to be the first song that plays on my iTunes music library. And so now when I get in my car, like auto syncs to that if nothing's on Spotify. So yeah, whatever. Welcome to the episode. What's good, everybody? It is President's Day. So we have the day off today. Shout out to days off. Love that. I woke up and I was like, I feel good. I took a day off yesterday uh, from the gym. That's totally a freaking lie. I did not take a day off. I went and did stretched, did some core work, did like a few leg exercises just to get blood in there. But I woke up today feeling like a million freaking dollars. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go film a deadlift session because I think it's back day. It is back day. I can do my deadlifts every so often. Last time I did them, I think was almost a month ago. So I'm ready to go. We're gonna lift some heavy weight. We're gonna film it. It's 10 a.m. It's the 19th of February. Feel good. I will see you guys at the Gold's Gym parking lot. Ah! Vlogger problems. I'll see you guys at the Gold's Gym parking lot. I will see you guys. I'll see you. Can you see me? I'm gonna kill myself. Come here. Now we're good. I'll see you guys at the Gold Gym parking lot. I gotta eat this Quest Bar. Haven't had anything to eat today, so that's the plan. Eat, drink pre-workout, crush deadlifts. See you in two. We into the big leagues? All right, we just got to the Mecca. Hitting some deadlifts today. I got the deadlift platform sharing with my homie over here. So crowded. It took me like 10, 15 minutes to find parking, which sucked, but here we go. Dead lifts. felt okay, but I don't think I can do the overhand grip today. I think I gotta do the reverse switch grip. That was 315 for like four. Then the 405, and then we'll see how we feel. Thank God I have chalk, because my hands felt slippery right there. That's what I did. 365 for five and four, and it felt okay. So I'm just gonna go up slowly, 405 right now, we'll just do like three reps, and then I seem to get warm, I feel like I'm not warm. My hamstrings are kind of tight. All right. So I'm at 405, it feels pretty good. That last set didn't record, so you're just gonna have to believe me. I just did another set of 405 for five. I'll probably go to 405 this next one. I think we're good. I think we can do like three of that. I wanna get big, lift big, right? Right. Such a go-to banger. So so. So so. Alright, done with that shit. I've always wondered if like, I should even be using this because my shoulders are so damn wide that like, if I'm gripping it hella close, it's like I just feel like 
I have to use shoulders to activate some of it. So I'm gonna be watching this footage kind of intently and being like, am I actually pulling on my back or am I pulling like with my shoulder blades? So this will be a learning experience for both of us. Uh, pretty lightweight, probably like 20 to 30 reps, let's see. So we started off with deadlifts. That was a post grip V bar seated rows right here, this way. <laughs> and now I'm gonna just since the lat pull down taking, which I was gonna do next. I'm just gonna do Y bar straight grip rows all the way back. It's right over here. Gotta find the right song, you know. So I'm not really sure if it's actually like truth to this statement or not, but I put my feet on the ground instead of on these pads, because I feel like it's controlling your core more. And you can actually feel the weight coming down. Like, you have to like, you can't go pretty heavy or else you'll slide into the freaking machine. Which I kind of think is like, if you don't have the leg strength to hold yourself down, while the bar's playing against you, then maybe you shouldn't even be doing that much weight. Just a thought. I do do it on this, but I'll go switch down to the bottom every once in a while. Especially if it's like a grippy floor like this. Isolation exercise. Make sure this is fucking tense the entire time. And then pull right back down here. Don't engage this. Or else you're just working shoulders. And that's not what we're here for. I think I'm gonna do one more set of that for back. Then do some biceps and then get out of here. I've been here for a while. But that's what happens when you film. So that's the plan. One more of those, not gonna film it. Biceps, maybe one or two sets. Then get the heck out of here and do some shit today. Edit a vlog. Edit a vlog. Bye bye. What is going on, everybody? If you have made it this far, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it. So this vlog was kind of all over the place. Uh, I started talking to the camera mid-workout, and then as I was editing it, I was like, wait, how can I do a voiceover if I have all these scenes cutting into it where I'm talking to the camera? So I decided to blend the two, and here we've got a little voiceover portion. Give you guys some updates on my end what I'm thinking as of late in terms of competing, where my physique is at, etc. So we did back today, and that's one of the body parts that I you know, really need to help bring up, and arms, well, to be honest, and everything. I've been talking to a good amount of the guys around the gym. I mean, look at this place. It's just filled with people that are getting after it. I love it. Gold's Gym, the Mecca, baby. But I've been talking to a bunch of people, and they said, man, you've got the shape, the proportion, the physique. You just need to grow 5, 10, 15%, whatever that amount is. That's what I need to do. So that's really been a main focus of mine, but you know, <laughs> I look in the mirror and I'm like, dude, I need to bring my arms up, I need to bring my back up, I need to have more definition here. Um, and you know, that's really what I'm working on recently. I've uh, recently switched up my training style to accommodate a little bit lighter of weight and more repetitions, and I'm talking like burning repetitions to the point where I reach 10, I'm like, all right, let's do 10 more. I get to that 10, I'm like, can I bust out five more reps? All right, let's do it. So right here, this was a, uh, I guess a negative controlled rep it didn't start that way, but after I did the preacher curls, I picked up this weight and I was like, there's no way I'm gonna be able to do this, Just like straight reps up and down. So I opted to go for the slow negative controlled rep and then use the other arm to assist back up. These, I forget what they're called. I think these might actually be like dead hang concentration curls, whatever. They've always been tough for me. Like I, I feel it, but I also, I feel like it's just a difficult one for me to squeeze the top, so I really dropped my weight. I think I'm using like a 20 pound dumbbell here, a 25 pound dumbbell, not sure. Uh, but I always feel really good after I do them, even though sometimes I feel like, you know, it's all about keeping your arm straight and your elbow, you know, in the same position and only be pulling with your bicep. It's easy to kind of try and pull with your shoulder, and that's a recurring theme here in my vlogs. I mentioned don't activate your shoulder, don't activate your shoulder. Oh, check out those hands, by the way. Uh, so that's kind of been a focus of mine with, uh, with those, is really just feeling the muscle. This right here is somewhat courtesy to Julian Smith. I've kind of tweaked it to my, to my own personal liking. But essentially, I do four reps on the one arm, four reps on the other arm. But then I switch back to the other arm and do three. Oh, by the way, thanks, man. Do three, and then I do two on the other arm, two, one, and then one. And that's a total of 10 for each arm. 
but it makes it so you're kind of really focusing on one arm at the same time. You gotta keep your core tight and you don't wanna drop your arm all the way down to the bottom. You wanna keep the bicep tense the entirety of the movement. Focus on your breathing. You notice, I think I'm chewing gum here and I found that it really helps for me to remember, like keep breathing, keep breathing. Cause as you're chewing it, you're constantly inhaling air. Just one caveat, do not choke on the gum. That's happened before where it like slips out. <laughs> it slips in the back of my throat. I'm like, oh crap. Or I'll, I'll actually drop it in the middle of a set if I'm doing like bent over rows. So that's kind of gross too. But just a short little voiceover, guys. I know I didn't get into competition update, but I'll do that in another episode. Thanks so much for watching. Please hit the like and subscribe button if you're enjoying the content. And I will see you after this. All right, Bradley locked himself out of the house, so I gotta go. So it's gonna be my last set. I'm gonna go chat in the car, drink some protein, and have a productive day. All right, it's windy as shit. This is a perfect opportunity to test how this thing works out. It's supposed to block the wind, but I'm just gonna listen to the footage after this and see if it is windy or not, because you can tell, look at the trees. So here's to if my equipment works, right? I don't know if you guys can see this, but the wind has made my car incredibly dusty. You see that? Practically write my name in here, so we need to, we need to clean this bad boy up. Clean her up. Let's go. Time to let Borelli in the house. You guys, I just botched it hard. Botched it hard. I left my sunroof open. It's windy, right? Look at all this, like, I don't know if you can see all this crap. Like, there's just straight dust everywhere. I already wiped most of it off with this microfiber, but dude, that's so annoying. Like, ah. Talk about something super annoying. When your car is, when you care so much about your car being clean. Damn, literally on everything. Oh well, rookie mistake, that was my fault. I'm hungry and I need to edit some footage and make an IG clip for the last video, so I got some stuff to do today. Hang up some portraits, random shit. All right, lady y'all. Got the key. What key? Your key. Devastation. Devastation. What do you think of the, the hat and the shades? Deuces. Don't forget your keys. Don't forget your keys. There's only one question. Is there? Is there chicken in the season? <laughs> Later.